Hello everybody and welcome to Storytime here at the Freedom Public Library in New Hampshire. My name is Elizabeth Reimer and I'm the director here. I got some really great pictures sent to me this week. We got a bunch of winter hat pictures. Here are Evan and Colin with their awesome hats. Here's a big gang of kids with hats. Elsie, Michael, Darla, Josie, Bennett, and Piper. Jackson made a hat and Anna is working on hers. We also got some hot chocolate craft pictures. Here's Eliza and her little sister, June. Tessa made her hot chocolate craft and had some real hot chocolate too. And here's Logan with his hot chocolate craft. Looks like one of his marshmallows came off like mine did. Here are Callie and Weston enjoying a very different kind of winter in sunny San Diego. And here are the Royal Highnesses, Haley and Amelia. Good to see you girls. If you'd like to be included in an upcoming shout out, send your pictures to the email address written down in the YouTube description below, okay? All right, now it's time to sing our story time song. Sing with me, will you? Sit down, it's story time, and we are gonna have some fun. Read books and sing some songs, so listen everyone. I like to see your eyes grow bright. I like to see you smile. Cause you're all growing up so fast, let's share this little while. So sit down, it's story time, and we're gonna have some fun. Read books and sing some songs, so listen everyone, listen everyone. So today we're going to be talking about penguins. It's penguin story time. Do you love penguins? I wore my penguin colors today black and white, although some penguins have other colors in them too. We're going to be reading this magazine today. The magazine is Zoobies and it, there's all different kinds of animals that are featured every month and they're made out of a thicker paper so that they're sturdy and you can not worry about getting them ripped or torn and it, these are available for checkout here at the library and if you have um, older kids, we also have Zoodles, which is by the same company, and it's um, more information about different, look, it's the seal. So different kinds of activities in here for an information about animals and photographs. And then even older kids, zoo books. So come and check those out. But let's get reading Zuby's Penguins, okay? Meet some penguins. Little, big, really big. What can you do with feet like these? Oh, they're pink feet. What can you do with them? What do you think a penguin can do with its feet? Well, it can paddle fast in the water. It can waddle side to side. Boop, boop, boop. And it can snuggle tight. Penguins don't have arms to hug their baby, so they use their feet. See that parent's feet around the baby? Yeah. Okay, now it's time to count the penguins. Ready to count them? One, two, three. Right. Three penguins. Oh, three penguins here, too. They're huddling together, huddle together, look. Just like you, huddle together with your family. One, two, three, all cozy and warm. Penguins slide, Wee! they slide on their tummies. It says whoosh. Penguins dive. Penguins sing. What does that say? Squawk. I wonder how they sound. I don't actually know. Looks like it's a loud sound coming out of that big mouth. Hop right up. Sway and spin. Waddle, waddle. Dive right in. Look, and it even has this little thing that you can put your feet in like that. Can you see? Ooh, hello. 
I know, I got my little penguin feet sticking out of the holes. Yeah, cute magazine, huh? I want to show you another magazine before we go on. It's called Baby Bug, and it's not about animals necessarily, but it's also another magazine for young children that is very sturdy and has a lot of poems and songs and, and stories and games and illustrations. It's real cute, so you can borrow these, just like a book, two weeks at a time. Okay, we got two little penguins. Where are your two little penguins? You got them up? One, two, okay? Two little penguins sitting on the ice. One bows once, and one bows twice. It's like we bow for please take a bow. Waddle, little penguins, waddle away. Come back, penguins, time to play. Let's do that again, okay? So can you bow with your penguin, make your penguin bow? Okay. Two little penguins sitting on the ice. One bows once and one bows twice. One, two. Waddle, little penguins, waddle away. Come back, penguins, time to play. All right, do you know this song? It goes like this, the bear went over the mountain, the bear went over the mountain. Well, we're gonna sing it, but we're gonna talk about a penguin going over the iceberg, okay? And what did he see, okay? The penguin went over the iceberg, the penguin went over the iceberg, the penguin went over the iceberg to see what he could see. And what did he see? What are those? Do you know what they are? A couple of seals, all right? He saw a couple of seals, he saw a couple of seals, he saw a couple of seals, and that's what he did see. Okay, now what is this? It's a big bird, right? It's called a giant petrel. Have you ever heard of a giant petrel? I didn't, but it said that's what this was and that they live with penguins. So we're gonna say, the penguin went over the iceberg, the penguin went over the iceberg, the penguin went over the iceberg to see what he could see. He saw a giant petrel, he saw a giant petrel, he saw a giant petrel, and that's what he did see. Okay, now what are these? Do you know what these are? Hmm, yeah. Did you say whales? Yeah, they're orca whales. They live with penguins too. The penguin went over the iceberg, the penguin went over the iceberg, the penguin went over the iceberg to see what he could see. He saw some orca whales, he saw some orca whales, he saw some orca whales, and that's what he did see. All right, what about these? What are these? Yeah, some other penguins. The penguin went over the iceberg, the penguin went over the iceberg, the penguin went over the iceberg to see what he could see. He saw some other penguins, he saw some other penguins, he saw some other penguins, and that's what he did see. You know, what else would a penguin see if he went over the iceberg? I couldn't get a good picture of a school of fish, but he probably would see a school of fish. And what would he want to do with that school of fish? He'd probably want to eat them all up, wouldn't he? Okay, we've got some penguins on the flannel board today. We're going to count them, okay? One. What comes next? Two. Yep. Three. Poor three. It's got the ugliest, ugliest color of all. <laughs> All right, four, can you see behind the chair? Five, uh-oh, five wants to fall down. Come on, five, stay up there. All right, so we've got five so far. And, is that right? <laughs> How does that go? Six. Uh-oh, six has that ugly color, too. <laughs> okay, seven. What color is that? Seven. Red. Eight. 
nine, uh oh, the one sideways, which number, that's ten, which number has more than one piece to it, what, which one has two numbers? Does. 10 is a 1 and a 0. 1 and 0 is a 10. All right, so it goes like this. One little, two little, three little penguins, four little, five little, six little penguins, seven little, eight little, nine little penguins, 10 little penguins. Yay! Now we're going to go backwards, okay? 10 little, 9 little, 8 little penguins, 7 little, 6 little, 5 little penguins, 4 little, 3 little, 2 little penguins, 1 little penguin. Yay! <laughs> oh. All right, so which numbers are green? Hmm? Do you see any green numbers? The 10 is a green, right? What number is that right there that's green? Eight. And this one, four, number four. How many pink numbers are there? Just one, right? And what number is it? Did you say two? That's right. Now there's two blue ones, different shades of blue, aren't they? Which, which ones are blue? Hmm. That one's blue. It's a dark blue. Number one. And what about this one? Number five. The one that wanted to go away. That's a pretty, pretty color. Kind of like a, I don't know what kind of color that is, but it's blue. All right. All right. Goodbye, little penguins. Have fun playing. Okay. It's time to sing about you. What are you wearing today? Hmm. Do you have your penguin colors on? You probably didn't because you didn't know it was penguin story time, I bet. But I have my penguin colors on. Let's sing about Elizabeth's penguin colors. Elizabeth's wearing penguin colors, penguin colors, penguin colors. Elizabeth's wearing penguin colors all day long. Please take a bow. Yay! Hello, boys, and welcome to the library. Glad to see you. Hi. Hi. So you're going to sing about you. What are you wearing today? Who wants to go first? Me. Okay. All right, Evan, what are you wearing today? My, 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 my tiger shirt. Your tiger shirt? No, are I you? do my lion shirt. Lion shirt, okay. Evan's wearing his lion shirt, his lion shirt, his lion shirt. Evan's wearing his lion shirt all day long. Please take a bow. Yay! Nice job. Okay, Colin, what about you? Hmm. I can't really see. What about your mask? My Winnie the Pooh mask. Do you want to sing about that? Yeah. Okay. Well, you don't have it on. <laughs> I guess you can wear it. All right, let's put it on so that we can sing about you wearing it. Okay. Colin's wearing his Winnie the Pooh mask. His Winnie the Pooh mask. His Winnie the Pooh mask. Colin's wearing his mini Winnie the Pooh mask all day long. Please take a bow. Yay! Evan got in a bow too. Cool. All right. Thanks. If you want to come to the library and be filmed for Sing About You, let your mom and dad know and they'll, maybe they'll set up an appointment and we can get you on our Sing About You video. That would be fun. Well, it wasn't easy to pick out books for Penguin Storytime because we have so many. I hope you'll come and see them. We have them on a lot of them on display right now. And you can come and get ones that I didn't read. Or maybe you can borrow these ones that I am reading. Today, I'm reading a book that we just got in. It's called Penguinot. And it's by Marcy Colleen. And it's illustrated by Emma Yarlett. Penguinot. That's funny. Orville was small. Look, it says penguin. Where do you think Orville lives? 
his friends were big. Can you tell what that friend is? It's gray. I think I see a trunk. Look, the trunk is holding Orville up. An elephant, I think. Where do you think Orville lives? Do you think it's the zoo? This would be a good book for friendship story time too, you'll see. And their adventures were bigger. What, is he going hand gliding? That's crazy, that rhinoceros. Orville longed for big adventures too. To go scuba diving like the giraffe. I think this is a silly book. One day he announced his plans for the biggest and best adventure yet. Look, he's using the side of the elephant to describe what his plan is. Ta-da! It says Orville's big adventure to the moon. Wow, that's all the diagram of how it's going to work. Is that a good idea? But Orville, you're so small. And the moon is so far away. I can do this myself. Orville flippered out. It's like flipped out, but he flippered out. Is that funny? He tried to flap, kerplop. Yeah, penguins can't fly, can they? He tried to climb. Look, there he is going up the ladder. Woo! Whack. He tried to catapult. Pew! Look, there's the catapult. Pew! Ouch! And landed in the reptile house. Orville was pretty sure the boa constrictor was not trying to hug him. Still, Orville kept trying. He borrowed from the zookeeper. He nicked from the trash can. He built and built. What's he building? And with a shake, shake, shake of a half-filled soda bottle, the ship was ready for liftoff. Eureka! It was perfect. Look at his rocket. And perfectly penguin-sized. Look, the elephant is putting some a little note in the penguin's space suit. With a trembling flipper salute, he took his place at the controls. Three, two, one. I can do this myself. Blast off! Whoosh! The ship zipped through the night sky, through clouds, over stars, and straight to the moon. Yes. Look, there he goes. Woo! Bump. Kerplump. Kaboom. Orville landed. His stomach felt queasy. His spacesuit felt squeezy. And now that he'd made it, what would he do? What's he going to do on the moon? He took a small step. Boop. Look, he's got a flag that says zoo. He hopped. Boop, boop. He did a little dance. Boop, boop. And tripped. Boom. Tumble, bumble, ba, boing. He somersaulted with stars, cartwheeled over craters, and giggled for all the galaxy to hear. <laughs> It was the biggest and best adventure yet. I'm doing it myself, he cheered, but his tiny voice was swallowed up in the starry blackness. Orville stopped. He was all alone. His stomach grew queasier. His spacesuit grew squeezier. He shivered and a note fell out of his pocket. You're our penguinot. We know you can do this. Mm, look, heart around. His drawing of Orville, how cute. He missed his friends. So Orville closed his eyes tightly and imagined they were there. Look, it's like the constellations. There's an elephant and a snake and a lion and a giraffe. When he was safely back in his ship, he looked toward home. Look, there's home, our Earth. He couldn't wait to tell everyone about his big adventure. 
Sure, Orville's friends were big. Now the proud penguinot felt big too. Look, he's come back. And they've got signs for him. You're our hero. There he is. But biggest of all, being together was out of this world. Oh look, he's built a bigger spaceship for all of them to go. Three, two, one. Ha, maybe you could build a spaceship. So now we're gonna do another song by Lori Berkner. It's Rocket Ship Run, which we've done before. Of course, I started thinking about that song when I chose that book, Penguinot, okay? So we're going to be going into outer space. We're gonna be doing some spinning. We're going to do some dancing and we're going to do some jumping, okay? Everybody stand up. You can sing with me if you want to, okay? Here we go. frozen penguin okay so we're going to be touching different parts of our bodies all right so we'll try that frozen penguin lonely in the cold snow frozen penguin i will warm you up frozen penguin lonely in the cold snow frozen penguin i will warm you up put a hat upon your head put a hat upon your head put a hat upon your head on your head on, on your head, head. Put a scarf around your neck. Put a scarf around your neck. Put a scarf around your neck. Round your neck. Round your neck. On your head. On your head. Whoa. Frozen penguin, lonely in the cold snow. Frozen penguin, I will warm you up. Put a sweater on your chest. Put a sweater on your chest. Put a sweater on your chest. On your chest, on your chest, chest, round your neck, round your neck, on your head, on your head. Whoa. Frozen penguin, lonely in the cold snow. Frozen penguin, I will warm you up. Put a jacket on your back, put a jacket on your back, put a jacket on your back. 
on your back, on your back, on your chest, on your chest, round your neck, around your neck, on your head, on your head. Oh, frozen penguin, lonely in the cold snow. Frozen penguin, I will warm you up. Put some pants on your legs. Put some pants on your legs. Put some pants on your legs. On your legs, on your legs, on your back, on your back, on your chest, on your chest, round your neck, around your neck, on your head, on your head. Oh, frozen penguin, lonely in the cold snow. Frozen penguin, I will warm you up. Put some boots on your feet. Put some boots on your feet. Put some boots on your feet. On your feet, on your feet, on your legs, on your legs, on your back, on your back, on your chest, on your chest, round your neck, round your neck, on your head, on your head. Oh, frozen penguin, lonely in the cold snow. Frozen penguin, I will warm you up. Let's sing it again. Frozen penguin, lonely in the cold snow. Frozen penguin, I will warm you up. And again, frozen penguin, lonely in the cold snow. Frozen penguin, I will warm you up. So we're going to do some more counting of penguins with this book called Penguins One Two Three, and it's by Kevin Schaefer. Ready to count some more penguins? Penguins One Two Three. We also have a book called Penguins ABCs, just like this. Well, not just like it. Penguins, one, two, three. Look at that family of penguins. One little penguin alone in the snow. Somehow it always knows which way to go. <laughs> Look at those wings sticking out like that. Two penguins together are better than one. Having a friend is always more fun. We're going to be doing a penguin craft with yellow feathers like that. Standing together, we add up to three. If we add one more, how many will it be? What's next? Did you say four? Four penguins diving for their favorite dish. Not soup, not spaghetti. They really like fish, right? To find their way home, these five penguins know exactly which way they all have to go. Look at those pink feet again. I think that's the same kind of penguin we saw previously. Six penguins all in a row. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. Do their feet get cold in the snow? Probably not. Six chicks and a grown-up in very cold weather. They add up to seven all standing together. That's what they turn into later on. They change a lot, don't they? When these eight penguins want to go for a ride, they simply get down on their bellies and slide! Whee! That's one good thing about being a penguin. To jump in the water, penguins must get in line. How many are there? Seven, eight, nine. Have you ever wondered how penguins have fun? These 10 like standing out in the sun. Not every penguin lives on snow or on ice. These 11 find that the beach is quite nice. I like the beach too. 12 penguins jumping, that makes a dozen. And each one looks just like its cousin. Whee, that one's diving and that one's sliding on its belly. Can you count how many penguins you see? Are there 20 or 50 or 103? Good grief. Look at all the penguins. I think maybe there's more than 103 there. I don't think even if you borrowed this book, you'd be able to count them all. <laughs> maybe though. You want to try? 
Hope you had fun with that one. So today we're gonna make this really cute penguin craft. Isn't it cute? We got a little yellow beak and some yellow feet and some yellow feathers on the top. Very cute. All right. So you stay right there, Mr. Penguin or Miss Penguin. What do you think? Is it a boy or a girl? You're gonna need a glue stick for this craft. So go and get your glue stick. And if you live around here, you got a toilet paper roll covered in black paper. You got wings. You got hair. We got a white tummy. And what else do we have? Some feet, a beak, and some eyes. Okay, so what should we start with? So I'm just going to put the belly. This is the back. You can see it's been taped together. So we're going to put the belly on the other side. Okay, so I'm going to put some glue on the back of the belly. I got glue on the back and let me make sure I put it right in the back I mean in the front so I'm going to put the, the straight part at the bottom of the penguin okay so there's the bottom of the penguin and there's his white belly okay and I think I'll go ahead and put the feet on so what you're going to need to do with the feet it's they're pretty long and you want to fold them up a little bit so that the, the folded part can go inside. See how it is in here. So here's one foot and here's another foot. And I'll put them right next to each other, right under the belly where we just put the belly, okay? So I'm going to put some glue on the folded part. And put one over here. one foot and put some more on the folded part of this one so that it can get glued right on the inside of the toilet paper roll okay there so now I've got the two feet on so you can waddle around and now I think I will put the eyes on so I'm gonna put glue on the back of the eyes. One eye, so about like that. So just above the belly, one on one side. Squeeze it so that it stays on there well. And then I'm gonna put some glue on the other eyeball. Googly eyes. Squeeze that. There we go. Okay, now it needs its beak. So I'm gonna glue on the back of the of the beak so that it opens like this. Okay. Put some glue on one part of it and stick it in between the eyes just at the top of the belly. Hello. I need my hair in my wings now. <laughs> okay. Whoops, one of his feet fell off. Goodness gracious. I'm gonna glue it back on. I guess I didn't hold it well enough. Get it on there well. Carry you on there well. Okay. I think it's good now, maybe. We'll see. <laughs> okay, what should we do first? The hair or the wings? Let's do the wings next. This is the back and we can just put a lot of glue on the back so that they, it sticks and the wings stick out, all right? One side of it has the drawing on it, so I'm gonna put it on the side that does not have drawing that, that helped the person who cut these out. Thank you, Lou Ann. All right, so now I've got glue on the back of this, of the, of the square part of the wings and I'm gonna put it right behind the penguin's body, right in the middle, kind of, where the wings would go, okay? So I'll, I'll, I'll press down on the back where I've put the glue, and now the wings stick out like that. 
Oh, my feet are still there. This one wants to flip down a little bit. I don't know why that is. Okay, now we're going to do the hair. Put glue around the uh, outside of the hair so that it can glue on the inside of the, of the toilet paper roll. So here we go. I'm gonna put some glue all around, along the top here. The part that's not cut. And I'm going to stick it down inside the penguin head. Press it down. Now we saw in that picture that they, the, you know, the feathers don't really stick up straight, so you could bend them over if you wanted to, like that, or you could cut them a little, maybe. Let me see, does that look like, more like how a penguin's feathers do on their head? I'm not sure. Yeah, a little bit like that maybe. You could even cut them if you wanted to, give them a haircut. I don't know what you would want to do, but I've decided to kind of part the hair, or it looks like hair, but it's feathers. Part it like that and put it to the side. <laughs> Hello, boys and girls. I looked this up and they're called a macaroni penguin. Is that funny? There's a, a few different kinds of penguins that have yellow feathers on their head, but one of them's called a macaroni penguin. That, that's what I'm gonna call mine. I'm gonna call mine macaroni. <laughs> well, I hope you had fun at Penguin Storytime, and I hope you'll come in and borrow some of the other penguin books that we have. I'll see you next week, okay? Bye for now.